If you're like most travelers, you probably have some change left over from your travels while in Japan. Instead of taking them home and leaving them in a drawer somewhere, why not put them to good use instead? Today, we explore the 5 best ways to spend your last 1000 yen. Hi and welcome to Excited Wanderer, where we make it easier for you to plan for your next holiday with our short but detailed video guides. And now, back to the video. Go have a shopping spree at Daiso. Daiso is Japan's biggest 100 yen store chain. They're like these massive $1 shops where everything is sold at a minimum of $1 or 100 yen, and it is where you can buy almost anything you could think of. From Japanese snacks to chopsticks to loads of cute Japanese themed items, this is a great final stop to look for souvenirs for your friends and family who are waiting for you back home. Have fantastic sushi! Sushi is Japan's most well-known delicacy, so if you haven't had your chance to try some yet, head to the nearest conveyor belt sushi restaurant to get your fill. These restaurants offer quick, easy and cheap sushi with two of the biggest chains being Sushiro and Kura Sushi. Most plates cost 100 yen each and a generous helping of the sushi will fill your tummy very quickly. This is definitely a tasty and fun way to finish off whatever spare change you might have left in your wallet. Try your luck at a gachapon machine. Found throughout the country, especially at tourist sites and arcades, gacha, sometimes called gachapon or gashapon, are coin-operated machines that contain a variety of items tucked away in plastic capsules. Each machine comes with a different theme, featuring everything from anime figurines to keychains, flashlights, and even tiny hats for cats. You can see the sort of items each machine holds from the front, but what you can get is never guaranteed. Some machines hold rare items and will cost more for one try, but usually the common items cost between 100 yen to 300 yen each. Try your luck at some crane games. If you're checking out gachapon machines, then you're most likely in an arcade center. The crane games are extremely popular because they only cost 100 yen per attempt, and the prices on offer are usually top-notch. They range from high-quality plushies to amazing action figures and more. If this isn't your thing, then there's also a variety of game machines to try, like Mario Kart, fighting games, and even rhythm games like the immensely popular Taiko no Tatsujin, a drumming game where you time your beat to popular songs. When you're having fun, time flies, and the extra 1000 yen may be gone in an instant. Relax in a hot spring. After all of the traveling and sightseeing that you're sure to have done, what better way to unwind than by relaxing in a hot bath? For an authentic Japanese experience like no other, skip the hotel bathtub and head to one of the country's many hot springs, otherwise known as onsen. Often located in secluded areas, you can spend hours just peacefully relaxing in a beautiful natural setting. As an added benefit, the geothermal water boasts many skin nourishing minerals that will repair, refresh and rejuvenate you. While you may expect to pay luxury spa prices at such a place, most onsen only cost between 500 yen to 800 yen per entry. It's worth noting that since tattoos aren't widely accepted throughout Japan, some onsen may refuse entry to guests with tattoos. While this isn't the case everywhere, it's worth calling ahead or checking online first to make sure. However, if you lack the time or budget to travel to an onsen, you can instead head into one of the many public baths called Sento. They are located within Tokyo and are also in other cities around the country. There is no doubt that as the smallest Japanese bill, a thousand yen may not seem like much, but can in fact go a long way depending on what you're looking for. Instead of taking the bill home where it might be useless, invest it in one of the ideas mentioned in this video, or with a little careful planning, mix and match for an unforgettable and inexpensive final experience in Japan. Either way, you're guaranteed to get your money's worth and then some. Let me know how you would spend your last 1000 yen in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also check out my other videos on Japan in the playlist, or click here if you want to see what my latest video is all about. And I'll see you in the next video.